last year. The journey towards smarter mobility has begun. I see, I'm stuck like I'm a new TV. Definitely a milestone for Team Philippines! This 2011, Team Philippines is revving up his engine. Three more schools are joining Team Philippines this 2011. Oh boy! That's a clear vision that we're right on track. And there's no other way but to go the distance. The chase towards the future of fuel efficiency continues! This is Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2011, Team Philippines! After running in Europe for 26 years, in the Americas since 2007, and now on its second year in Asia, the Shell Eco Marathon continues to challenge youth from all over the world to design, build, and run a vehicle that can travel the farthest distance using the least amount of fuel. Transportation is one of the largest users of petroleum products and this sector continues to grow. As an energy company, Shell is working to meet the world's growing energy demand in secure and sustainable ways. The Shell Eco Marathon is designed to inspire the youth to develop new approaches to sustainable mobility, to think about energy efficiency and climate change. From the Philippines, seven teams from six universities are gearing up to take on the Fuel Efficiency Challenge. Pioneer teams of Don Bosco Technical College, Mapua Institute of Technology, and University of Santo Tomas will be joined by De La Salle University, Technological Institute of the Philippines, and the University of the Philippines. The car namin is monox system, so wala siyang frames, mga bakal, ganyan. So lahat is composite materials ang support sa kanya. So to make it lightweight. Tapos yung motor is pinaprogram siya for the racetrack. Parang binibigyan mo ng utak yung motor. We are very proud to represent De La Salle University in this prestigious event. So we are happy to be among the best of the engineering schools in the Philippines. Team La Salle is a bit experience sa mga composite materials. Integration of metal to, to carbon fiber. Our vehicle will be made of aluminum chassis, which will cause a weight reduction of about 50%. The vehicle shell will be made of natural fiber, particularly banana fiber, which was proven from previous studies that it has good strength characteristics and it is lightweight compared to fiberglass. This project with Shell is part of our contribution to save the environment by building a fuel-efficient car. The team experienced what engineering is applying what they learn in the classroom and laboratories. We are joining Shell Eco Marathon Asia not just to develop ourselves as useful members of the society, but also to help promote awareness of the importance of the study of energy efficiency and critical environmental issues, such as global warming, pollution control, and waste management. The category we joined is the urban concept and the prototype concept. In the urban concept, the objective of that category is to build a car that is roadworthy. And the prototype category, its design is futuristic and aerodynamic. Last year, we did uh, naturally aspirated uh, technologies in order to uh, get the most out of the uh, engine. This year, we are now focusing with electronic systems, uh, specifically electronic fuel injection system. When we're using EFI, the amount of fuel being injected to the engine is controlled. Yung sa Shell Eco Marathon, uh, more on green technology siya. Sa normal na sasakyan, ang nakoconsume lang ng one na power is one-third ng total capacity niya. So, 
doon inisa-isa namin yung mga factor na nakaka-apekto doon sa pag-propel ng vehicle. Nag-focus kami doon sa body and then sa chassis, mas pinagahan namin siya. We believe that this kind of competition will open the mind of all engineering students to become aware of the uh, how we could improve, how we could uh, defend our environment. Pagdating naman sa environment, niya, lower emission ng carbon dioxide, siyempre yung process din yung sa body ng sasakyan namin. Kasi ang kalimitan ginagamit is yung polyurethane foam para mamold yung body. So dito naman, is ginamitan na lang namin siya ng paper mache. So our vehicle, named Kidlap, is a series hybrid vehicle where in here we focus more on running the engine at highest efficiency rather than just their shedding of the weight. Our main focus here is to run the engine at constant speed which will then lead to a higher fuel efficiency. Um, the main reason for this is that we want to showcase that the vehicle can run not only in a diesel engine but also a configuration of both a hybrid which is a diesel engine which runs a generator and the generator then runs a certain motor. So we are using a single cylinder diesel engine coupled to a electric generator and a motor so that we can optimize the efficiency of the diesel engine and we're also using the fact that we're going to be uh, having a supercapacitor on board to optimize the stop and go motion included in the urban concept category. The main reason why we joined this competition is not only to showcase the competitiveness of our country but more importantly give importance to our environment. Here we focus more on lessening the carbon emission and to be able to be a stepping stone in developing electric vehicle, hybrid vehicle, lesser carbon emission vehicles, industry and technology in our country. Since it's our second time to compete in Shell Eco Marathon, uh, what we did is merely improve on last year's vehicle. We checked up on the engine and performed engine maintenance. I think I speak for the entire team when I say that this competition is merely a way for us to give something back to God. With the amount of pollution that vehicles make, uh, we're finally trying to make a change in the way vehicles use gasoline in using less and making the carbon emissions even more less. So this competition is just a way, a way for us to give some glory back to God and also of course to the university as Team UST. To the Philippine teams, let's show the world that we can compete with the best. Good luck and mabuhay! Better technology, stronger partnerships, seven teams, one goal with a leader of fuel. How far can they go? This is the Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2011 Team Philippines!